Hello, my name is Rebecca and welcome to my channel All About Stuff. And for those of you who have not seen my channel yet, I like to focus mainly on organization, fashion, fashion accessories, and any other kind of trinket that I might come across that I think is extremely useful. So in this case, I have come across the Strolly Beach Cart and it is fantastic. I have been literally researching these for a few years now and finally came across one that I think is worth every penny. So I'm gonna go ahead and share it with you in a moment. I'm gonna take a trip out of my deck. I have it loaded to pretty much full capacity. So I just wanna show you the ins and outs of it and all the compartments and pieces and what you can put in and give you a few measurements and that kind of thing. Before we get started, if you like my video and you'd like to see more, please hit the subscribe button. For any information on what I show in the video, please check out the description below. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I am currently outside on my deck. It's a super hot and humid day. So here we go. Um, let me flip my camera around and start showing you the ins and outs. Okay, so this is kind of an overview of what it looks like. Like I said, it's completely loaded. So I put probably even more than what they suggested on the website just to see how much I can really put on this cart. The maximum weight is 75 pounds. So here, this is not a beach umbrella, it's actually a patio umbrella, but I'm just using it as an example. So right here, we have this very large cup-like plastic container. It's very sturdy and heavy duty. This can be put on a little clasp. Um, I'm not sure if I can show you or not. It's kind of attached right here and it pops off when you need it to. And I will show you that at the end of the video. So here we have this umbrella and it gets strapped with this Velcro tie. So you can attach your umbrella to the cart, which is awesome. Okay, and here you have, I put actually two adult sized chairs on this area. And I actually managed to fit small, two children sized chairs as well. Right on this side. So here we have, and this comes actually with two of these and they can slip right off. These are flip-flop holders and you can put them any place you want. Um, here's the other set right here I have. And then here is another cup holder that can also be used to hold a second umbrella on this side if you wanna carry two umbrellas. And right behind my flip-flops, you can't see it. There it is. But this is a second strap for an umbrella. So you can actually pop this off if you want. And then take this cup and you could actually, and here's a little lever so it can turn. We'll put this down here instead. Tilt it and in theory you could put a second umbrella on this side. So you just have to remove the flip-flop holders. So let me go ahead and put these back on. So alternatively, this is a cup holder that can hold a very large size cup. And I can actually fit two narrow cups in there too if I want. So, okay. And if you do not carry an umbrella on you, this is removable and you can attach that cup up here or up here. So we have these little areas for that as well. So you have multiple places you can attach these cups. Um, like I said, you can do two umbrellas, one umbrella. You can have a place to hang your flip flops. Um, you could, in theory, just have two cup holders if you're using this to push around the boardwalk and you just want to take a few things plus your drinks. So it's super versatile. And here we have these all-terrain wheels. So they are made of plastic. They're very light, made of plastic, and there's this rubber kind of tread along the middle for gripping. And here we have foot locking mechanisms. So you just push down with your feet and you can lock the cart in place. Okay, and here is one of my favorite parts. This is a bag that you can remove and it's secured with these Velcro straps right here. So when you're on the beach, it won't fall off or you can detach it like so. And just remove it and carry it like a bag. And it has two side straps right here. So it is removable and you can use it just as a regular beach bag off the cart. It has this nice little zipper compartment in the front, nice and deep. Put your essentials in there. 
and on the side and i used this the other day at the pool i use these to slip a couple phones in so and it does actually hold this waterproof case as well so it will hold pretty much any size cell phone so like i said if you want it more secured you just have to use this little velcro tape right here but for the pool i just kind of left it like that so um, let me go ahead and take a quick measurement for you. Yeah, it's a little tricky because I have one hand. So right here, this is about 17 inches wide, this bag. And width is about uh, six to seven inches. And then depth, it's about a foot deep, 12 inches. So it's a pretty decent sized bag. So, and in the middle compartment, this is netted and it seems very durable, well constructed. You can see where it's um, doubly sewn right here and reinforced. So I threw a couple of life vests in here and I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out as we do this. A couple of life vests. I was able to fit this boogie board in. Um, this is a child size boogie board. And I'm gonna go ahead and take some measurements for you just so you have an idea in case you have a larger boogie board. And I think it could actually fit a slightly larger boogie board if I push these chairs a little bit forward and maybe took off these chairs. So I actually did put two extra chairs on this um, than was dictated on the website. So this could come forward a little bit and you could actually put a wider boogie board in at an angle if you want. So this boogie board measures, let me get my tape. So this boogie board measures about 18 inches in width. And I'm gonna be clipping this. And then about almost 36 inches in length. So, and I'm gonna be clipping this video a lot just to save time. So if it jumps around a little bit, that's the reason why. Okay, so it can fit a boogie board possibly a couple boogie boards if you like I said if you put it in an angle so here's looking down into the net so I put beach shovel in here um, this is four four beach towels four heavy duty beach towels and below this and you can see it now since I emptied this net material you have a bottom compartment so let me go ahead and take off take off these chairs so these are two small child sized chairs, which normally we don't even carry to the beach because the kids don't exactly sit around. So, and then these are two adult sized chairs. Let me go ahead and take them off. This is really difficult to do with one arm. Okay. So here we have a bottom slide compartment. So I like to use a soft cooler. Um, in this case, I put the beach toys underneath. I probably could have fit them into the net if I had put them in first, but I decided just to kind of slide them in at the bottom. So you can easily clean it out, just brush it out like so, wipe it out if you need to. And you can put a larger cooler in here if you need to. And let me show you some measurements for that as well. The bottom width of that this it's about, I would say about a foot, foot wide, 11 and a half to 12 inches wide. And then I would say 17 to 18 inches deep. So you could get a pretty decent sized cooler in this area if you'd like. But like I said, I like to use um, these bag coolers just because they can compress easier. So after it's all empty, I could just dump the ice and compress it like that. So I don't have anything else bulky to carry. So, and then it has these wheels in the front, which are completely 360. So really super easy to maneuver and turn. So this is great. So this can be basically used to walk back and forth at the beach, um, compact sand, you could probably just push it like a regular cart, but if you're going over sand that is soft or deep, then you just wanna tilt it like so and pull it.
Okay, I switched the camera around. So a few other things I'd like to point out about this card is it is rust-free or rust-proof aluminum. So that's really important. I don't want to have a rusting card on my hands because to me that's a waste of money and time purchasing something that's likely to rust. And I've read a lot of reviews on the other cards and they seem to have that problem. So hopefully this one will be fine. Um, I plan on doing another review towards the end of the summer. So I think it's gonna hold up really well. Um, also, it weighs about 15 pounds, which sounds like a lot, but um, when it's kind of folded up and you're using two hands, it's not too bad to lift up into a car. So I'm not an extremely strong person and I was able to do it. So without too much issue, um, I'm going to go ahead in a second. I'm going to clip this off and I'm going to show you how to fold it up and it's super easy and then how to open it up again. Okay, so let me go ahead and empty it out for you and we'll be back. Okay, so now I have it almost completely empty and I'm going to show you how to collapse the Strolly beach cart and then how to reopen it. And it's really, really easy. So here we go. And you don't have to take the bag off if you don't want to. Um, it folds up pretty easily with this bag on, but I'm gonna go ahead and take it off just to show you. Okay. And these um, cups right here, they're not locked on right now, but if you lock them on like that, which you wanna do when you use it for the umbrella, to get it off, you just have to punch it up and they pop right off. So, let me go ahead and fix the net, just uh, roll this up real quick. Okay. The other side, just pop that right off. Okay. And you don't have to take these off. These are the flip-flop components, but I'm just going to take them off right now. So, looks like I only had, okay, I only had one on, so, okay, pull this, pull this out. Okay, so what you do is, um, close this up. On both sides here, right here, I'm trying to get it in the video. Let me show you up close. There's these two little... Um, levers that kind of go up and down on both sides. So you pull them up at the same time and the cart will automatically collapse down. So it takes a little practice and getting used to, but it's pretty easy. Ready? So there you go. Okay. It's collapsed. And if you need me measurements for this, I can take a few measurements for you. It is width, while it's collapsed, is about 28 inches wide. And about 27 inches high. It's actually maybe about 26 inches high. And then depth. It's a foot or less, 12 inches or less deep folded. Okay, and let's see. So when it folds, and I'll show you this up close too. I don't know if you can see that. This little lever, this little plastic thing automatically connects to it and that keeps it from opening on you. So when you want to open it again, all you do is take this lever off Grab the handle and pull up. And then you push down and lock it. And there you go. So it's pretty simple and easy to use. So anyway, I'm gonna get in the shade a little bit. Like I said, it is, it is blistering hot out here. So I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope it was informative and it helps you make a choice for which beach cart you plan on purchasing for the summer. Like I said, I've been looking for one for a few years now. So, and I'm so glad I bought this one. It, it really tops the charts in comparison to the other ones that I, I studied and looked at and I read the reviews for. So thank you for watching my video. And if you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button below. Thank you so much and have a great summer. Bye.